Caitlin Jabonic and Emily Webster. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach. We're all really excited. I'm really proud of these players, and this championship means a lot to the players, to me, to our school. Uh, winning a national championship really means that I've had the privilege to coach fantastic players. And uh, we saw it tonight. They showed a ton of character. They performed well, and every time a very good Grand Valley team got back into the game, we had an answer, and uh, it's because of the character of the players on our team. All right, we'll now start with questions for players. Emily, I think it's through the, the free kick, and is that the intention all along to, uh, to, to go for goal, goal there? Um, yeah, from that distance, usually we like to go to goal. Um, we practice free kicks every day at practice, so uh, we put in the work, and I missed the first one, so I was frustrated and hoping to get the second one. So just pure joy after. Caitlin, what was the, the determination level of this team going up against Grand Valley in this national championship game? Yeah, we're, um, we're very, very determined. We lost to them last year in semifinals, so we were just ready to take it to them this year, and they're a very good team, so it was fun. What's it like to knock off the three-time defending national championship? It team? feels pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <Definitely does. laughs> Sarah, what was different about this year's team that allowed you guys to, to come out on the top this year? Um, I think it was that uh, our freshmen and everyone buying in, um, a lot of us had to step up big this year, and um, we carried ourselves throughout the year with lots of poise, and we just stuck to the little things and stuck to what Travis has taught us every day at practice, and I think that was what really paid off in the end for us, was sticking to the little things and knowing that we as a team can win a national championship with just um, practicing and playing with those uh, small things, those details. And Caitlin, when you went ahead 3-2, it's still with 14 minutes left. You're playing, again, a great team that knows how to win national championship. What was the mindset of this team going into that last 14 minutes knowing you had to play good defense? Yeah, just to continue our high pressure and um, <clears throat> work as hard as we were in the first half, just to maintain that. Sorry. <laughs> Travis, the three up here are kind of the heartbeat of the team. But talk about some of the unsung heroes today that, that, to beat to beat Grand Valley State? Uh, these three were obviously fantastic. That's why they're standing, sitting up here with us. And they are, are, are here and big in just about every game this season. But we did have some freshmen that, that came up big. You know, Emily Nelson seemed to be in the right place at the right time to make plays for us defensively. And, and Gabby and Liv um, up top caused lots of problems and worked tirelessly. We have Becca Cates, who is one of the best stories on our team. Um, this is her first year starting, and she was incredible today and has been incredible in the playoffs and, and really played with a ton of heart and inspired her teammates. So there was a lot of wonderful performances tonight. Caitlin, on, on your goals, was, was that something that all year you've sort of been looking for from, from distance, or did, was there sort of a mindset today that Uh, like Emily said, we practice a lot of those shots every practice, and I mean, our team just works so hard to get those shots. Emily, how important was it for this team to, whenever the two times that Grand Valley scored, uh, you guys answered fairly quickly. How important was it to answer fairly quickly instead of letting them build momentum? Really important. Um, I didn't think we missed a beat. We had a couple of lapses, but then we knew how to get right back in the game and um, maintain that high tempo. And so, Staying positive and really working hard throughout the whole 90 minutes definitely kept us in the game. Do you know that shot was in, or do you feel like it was in when you got it? <laughs> um, I wasn't sure. It felt good coming off my foot, but you don't know until it hits you back in there. So. It looked good. I can't wait to watch it again. <laughs> the other team sure. thought they were like, away, away, and then it went in, and I was like, <laughs> so excited. <laughs> did, that, did you guys have a good view of that? Now, did that actually clip the crossbar? It looked like from our view. From the inside, it yeah. Hit the corner, yeah. 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 Further questions for players? All right, thank you, players. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Can I take this? I had the best view in the house, let me tell you. Uh, it was. They were fantastic goals, and probably that's what it takes to be a team like this, right? I mean, we worked real hard, uh, and the defending was is really important for us today with such a playing such a high scoring opponent. Uh, but like we said, 
Caitlin and Webster scored some amazing goals today. What's just, I guess, sort of the approach against a three-time defending champion? I mean, do your girls come in feeling like, even though you're ranked number one, that they're potentially underdogs? I mean, what's, what's the approach? What we talk about mostly is playing our best selves. And so the rankings really aren't discussed. The opponents not discussed too much. It's about playing our hardest and playing and executing to our best ability. And certainly we had a game plan. We knew that they wanted to possess the ball. And so we had to get pressure higher up the field. And for parts of the game, we did that. Other parts, we didn't. And we just had to defend our tails off. Um, and we had to come up with some big plays for the goals. And so a lot of that played out real well for us today. And then, I, I mean, you guys obviously come in the lead with the second half. You're trying to protect the lead, and then when they tie it, it seems like you got to sort of flip the, the, the strategy there. What what did you guys try and change up to, to start pushing forward and get the go-ahead goal again? I didn't change anything up. That's all on our players. They have they are the determined. I'll tell you what they are. They have so much belief in themselves and the person next to them, and it showed up many times this season. And that's exactly what happened right there. Is nothing the coach can do to cheer them on or the fans that's inside that's who you are as a person and that's what showed up players just said we're going to go and win this thing and no matter what gets in our way and, and it played out that way in the last 15 minutes more questions for coach